Welcome everyone to Searching for the Lost Episode 4, our Zombie Land Losing His Fun YouTube series. At the end of the last episode, we had just dealt with a siege, and uh, we are currently in the process of hauling in some of the rewards of that siege. Turns out we have a mad boomalope to deal with. So the folks that were doing some hauling, as well as a few other colonists, are coming out to shoot the boomalope from range. We already have a lot of fire on the map, so that's not really a concern. I also want to make sure we claim this room so Granny does not get any infections. Granny and LK do not have any infections. Might be a little bit late for that, but hopefully it's not. Emor's already kind of close to where the boomalope is, so I'm going to pull Emor back. Okay, it looks like Emor did the trick and was able to take out the boomalope. Again, there's more fire on the map, but that's not that big of a deal, considering. And we're going to continue hauling in some of this clothing. Honestly, I don't know if we're really going to wear the clothing, but these items um, that you get from these raids are really helpful for trading for better items. They give you a stockpile of resources that you don't really need and some items to trade. LK's re-equipping their weapon. And then taking a meal to inventory. I I really feel like they should just rest, so I'm I'm setting them to go back to rest. Turns out LK has a mangled scar of the brain. That's not good. We can't heal that, but we could have used Glitter World to heal the abasia that is affecting Wily. We could have used 10 Glitter World to heal that. That seems like a lot of Glitter World for someone that we... I mean, we want to get them, but it's not harming us that they're stuck in bed right now. Unfortunately, we have nothing we can do about LK's brain scar at the present time, so they're just going to have to deal with it. Patty ended up getting an infection... As long as we use good medicine and good doctoring skill to tend, Patty should be fine. Mm. Marriage is on! Cavalier and LK are going to get married. LK, will you marry me? At some point in the coming days of Quadrums, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all colonists. Okay. So we just need to make sure we have a marriage plot down. I'm going to put the marriage plot in our main dining recreation room. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it here. It's not really that great of a room. We don't really have any other options at this time. So the diverse thoughts because of Wiley being a part of the colony and not being the right ideologist is a little bit rough. It's giving everyone a mood buff. Wiley is not really converting well right now. We're going to have to see about doing a ritual with them once we get them in the colony. Or possibly even imprisoning them once we get them in the colony. Right now they're going through go juice withdrawal and they have the paralytic of Asia. So they're really struggling. I'm going to have someone administer some coffee. Maybe help pick up their mood a little bit. I know it's not necessary because they can't really have a mental break. But I just feel bad that they're so miserable. <laughs> Gotta queue up some hunting, of course, but we don't want to queue up too much because of our size of our freezer at the present time is not very large. Uh, it said that Granny needed to do a style change, and I'm just looking at the different tattoo options for Granny. Okay, so now Granny no longer has the desired style change mood buff. So that's good. Whatever we did worked. Since we've been so busy with other things, I'm making sure that Friends is going to do some forced harvesting. 
in my vanilla playthrough that I'm doing on Twitch, I don't have Octung, and I miss it so much when it comes to playing vanilla. That is one mod that re I really struggle to play without, and so it's so lovely to be able to force friends to do so much harvesting all at once without having to click each individual tile to harvest. Okay, Granny's going to have a caffeine binge. Honestly, I feel like that's fitting. I don't know why, but I feel like Granny going a little hardcore with the coffee makes sense. <laughs> we got a Garland pod sprout. We're going to harvest it. I'm not sure when or how we're going to plant it if we do, but I definitely do want to bring it in so it's safe. We had a zit event in our refrigerator. Granny is on a break, so we need other people to do this. Granny is currently drinking all the iced coffee. I get it, Granny. I get it. We probably should switch to more granite walls, but until we have our outer walls completed and we feel confident in that, I'm hesitant to do it. We do have a lot of colonists, so putting out fires is not the end of the world. In order to build a solar panel, we're going to need to mine some more steel. Mining is something we've definitely fallen behind on with how much work we have to do. So I'm forcing Cav to do a little bit of it. And we get our first zombie attack of this episode. Uh, it's starting on the left side of the map. 40 zombies, not too bad. Remember, we don't want to bring out our, our melee colonists unless we really need to. So I'm going to bring out our shooters. Lanes was kind of already there. I decided to bring out green. As we recall, there are some zombies that melee attacks do better with, so we're going to bring out green just in case. It's also helpful for um, collecting the serum to have someone there that isn't currently actively shooting. I think this one in the front needs to be meleeed. So let's get green into position to do that. Yep. Green, you can do it. I know you're not much of a fighter, but good hacking job green's gonna extract some serum and green of course wants to go back with it i guess i'll let green go back with the serum all right shooters get closer some of them are aggroing that's okay we're doing pretty good with shooting it's not really a concern Moods are rough in this colony. Um, fine meals would probably go a long way. I'm unsure what else we could really do other than maybe getting Wiley converted so they don't have the diverse thoughts. Mood buff. Maybe set a little bit more recreation. I'm not even sure. Can you all extract at least a few of these while you're here? Once we've all returned to the base, we're just catching up on some tasks, standard tasks around the base. Granny was successfully calmed down by Emor. That's nice. Granny's going to take a little bit of time, but it will preserve some of our caffeine resources. And there's a party. Um, we're having a party. And right now, just Green and Granny are attending the party. There we go. Emor's joining the fun. Um, I probably should wake up our other colonists, maybe? Lanes is hunting. I'm going to tell Lol to clean and then cancel it so they come into the room. Now they're at the party. There we go. More people are attending the party. That makes me feel a little bit better. Moods definitely need it. They could use the fun. So, okay, what's on your mind? Hey, Green, how have you been? Let's be more quiet near sleeping people. <laughs> this mod for the social interactions is, is quite interesting. I don't know if it's really necessary, but I've been having fun with it for sure, reading their different interactions. 
having their interactions be more affected by what's going on in their lives. So this is going to be an expansion. We need to expand out. We're definitely already getting pretty full. I think our storage space needs to be expanded, but I think we should move our prisoner into a dedicated room. So first things first, I'm deciding how that's going to look. I decided to put the door on the side where the room is so that way we don't accidentally free the prisoner um, during the construction process. Cav is already working on it. We did marble walls in the middle. We need more granite. So I was having squid, green squid, do a little bit more stone cutting. Ooh, successfully converted Patty. Patty is one of us, one of us. So now we're going to be recruiting Patty. Patty is um, going to be our next colonist. Hopefully we'll get Wiley around the same time, but who knows. <laughs> um, Patty is, as a reminder, Patty was quite injured from the raid. We're going to give Patty a better bed for recruitment purposes. We're going to give them a bed roll. Right now they have one peg leg, I believe. And Green is going to continue making some granite blocks for us to finish this improved prison barrack and additional storage space. Don't want to keep Green forced for too long as that will affect their mood and then the benefit of the party will go away. Double checking that it's set for forever but only within that little zone around our base. Okay, and now I'm gonna let them go. Perfect. Get some food, go to sleep. We have some granite. Not a lot, but we do. Okay, so we could move our prisoner now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before we do that. Kev is still working on the walls. Lanes is cleaning up the place. Love to see it. Wiley's mood is still rough, but they're not on a full red background, <laughs> so they have been worse. I'm just trying to keep them happy. I mean, I feel bad more than anything, and I know you're like, it's Rimworld. You're not allowed to feel bad, but I do. They're still people. They're our colonists. And even if we haven't really bonded with them yet because they've spent the whole time in bed, they are one of our colonists, and I do care about them. I'm going to put some spike traps here. I was going to do the bear traps, but we just don't have the seal for it right now. And I think wooden spike traps would be decent enough. They could be stronger, but they'll be decent enough. So we're just going to do it right there. A couple spikes. Hoping that any raiders that come in through our walls are going to come in through that opening. They're going to hit the bear traps, and then they're going to hit those spike traps. Right now, it's a very simple form of defense, but it should help. You can also take some quick shots through the doors while they're coming in. That might be a method. And uh, we'll probably want to build some barricades or something else once we have the means to do so. Setting this to make sure it's a prison room. But... I'm going to reuse a light from somewhere else to put in there. You always want to light in your prison room because if you do have to do any surgery, any tending, the light helps. Plus, the people don't like being in the darkness. It'll be make them harder to recruit if they're in bad moods. We're going to put down flooring so it's a really nice room for them. We're doing a little bit more mining of steel, which is going to be good. We do need steel. We need to build a vent to the prison room so before we move patty out of their current space the beekeeping art workshop um we're gonna work on this vent first we also need to deconstruct this wall now to make sure that they can actually access the space <laughs> and i'm gonna force emer to do it just so that way we can work on the vent and get patty into the nicer space like some meat was put into our main storage um, probably because we ran out of space don't love that now that we have machining we could do gunsmithing but honestly we might want to do prosthetics first because of patty's lack of legs so let's set it for prosthetics we haven't built the bench yet but we'll have to get there soon steel is definitely a thing <laughs> we've been pretty short on steel so we got to make sure that mining is happening we're gonna go ahead and deconstruct the power conduits and reline them around the outside wall 
And uh, we should make sure to bring in this cloth. I think Patty and Wiley will probably need better clothing. We have a lot of cloth to do it. So let's go ahead and just start with some pants. Cloth pants and cloth button downs. Let's just do a couple of each for right now. That should help. Our base is very small given the number of people. We really need to work on expanding. I decided to switch our research quickly over to beer brewing. The primary reason for this is we're unable to make coffee and tea at the present time and normally we'd be making that on the stove so we don't need any additional equipment we might as well be making it so let's just do a quick switch over and then we'll do prosthetics after this um it's only 400 points it should should go fairly quickly our new spikes are built awesome Button-down shirt's been made. Bedroll's been moved. So Patty can be relocated. And Emor's going to do that automatically. Awesome. And let's go ahead and um, put in the one of these wall lights. For some reason, I duplicated that. We're going to move it to our storage space. So that way we have better light in there. That looks good. They're putting down the floor for Patty. That's great. There's a logging work site nearby. We don't really need extra wood. I think we're fine in that regard. Look, so Patty's room's got a lot, a nice floor, a vent, all the things. We're going to expand our storage, uh, delete that other storage that we made temporarily in our dining room so they move everything in. And it's looking pretty good. Baxter is set to haul. Baxter is capable of hauling and is set to a zone that includes... Hauling in our steel and what would be our raid rewards. I think it's a pretty good zone for now. We might adjust it later, but we have a lot of access. Especially compared to the other animals. Delete this second. So we're going to end up doing peg legs for now. Once we get the prosthetic legs, we'll replace them. But the peg legs for now will will help Patty move around a little bit more. Probably going to have to be very careful if we recruit Patty when they have two peg legs. <laughs> we're going to have to be careful to keep them safe. Beer brewing's done, so now we can switch back to the prosthetics. Perfect. Let's also make sure to queue up. Making the coffee forever and making tea forever. It's going to be at the bottom of the list, so we always have food making first. But let's go ahead and shrink our tea zone and make part of it coffee. I think that would be a good idea, and I think our colonists would enjoy it. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you either on Twitch or with episode 5 of Searching for the Lost. Have a good one.